Right now, you can play the NBA NHL and it's won by the best. The more is your confidence all that right now? Uh, it's pretty high. Um, I think the team's been playing well. Uh, we've been able to put a lot of pucks in the net. So just feeding off that, um, you know, going back to the start of the year, I think we were talking about having a lot of skill in the locker room and young talent, old talent. Um, so yeah, just, uh, you know, keep, keep working on our, our, uh, systems in practice and trying to implement that in games. And so far it's been going pretty well. I do. Yeah. I feel like I'm getting in the play a bit more than I usually do. Um, it's leading to a lot of pretty good looks on net. Uh, haven't been able to put them all in the net, but, uh, you know, the more you shoot, the closer you get to the net, um, the better the chances you have of scoring. So it's kind of what I'm working on. Is that like by design then, working on trying to get more pucks on this year? Yeah, just like the more pucks you put on net, the more you can create. Um, you know, a lot of rebounds. We're working a lot on stopping at the net, getting in front of the goalie, um, getting some sticks on the – on pucks, so the more I can put pucks on net, put pucks off pads, beat goalies, the better off the team will be. You're two points from 100 in the NHL, three games from 280 to the league. Do you get attention to milestones like that or no other Um, I do, yeah. <laughs> um, games played, it's a pretty cool one. Like, I mean, the more games you get to play, the cooler it is. Um, I've seen guys hit like six, seven hundred, which is crazy. But uh, to be close to two hundred, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully a lot more to come. That's cool too. Yeah, I mean, whenever you can contribute offensively, um, it's awesome. It's not something you you want to chase, but you know, going back to like putting pucks on net, it's just kind of the more pucks you can put on net, the more you're in the play with some of our really talented forwards who are really good passers, um, the better off everything will be. So, including this past Saturday, you got six minutes to row between the one that and Syracuse. So, you're seeing the same team at the time, so early in the season? A little bit, but. You know, it's the way the schedule is in this league, and, you know, we just got to, you know, two points is two points. Like, I mean, maybe it sucks playing the same team over and over again, but you get to know the team very well and get to study their players. And, you know, if we end up seeing them in a, in a you know, playoff series, we'll know them pretty well and we'll be prepared. I was talking about how this past week, these three months seem like a lot more. Honestly, I just think it's like repetitions and practice with each other. Um, I feel like we had a lot of really good practices last week, especially on Thursday, talking to the guys. Whenever you can have a good practice or a couple good practices in a row leading into a game or stretch of games it always helps. But, uh, I mean, the start of the year is always pretty sloppy. Like, you know, a lot of new guys and new systems for some guys. So it could be tough to adjust to. But I think we're starting to hit the point now where we're get, getting that work in and practice and um, feeling, you know, beating off each other and feeling each other out there and just kind of finding open space. And I feel like with every game and every week, we go through the season and it'll just get better. Matt, do you have anything for Jeremy? Yeah, just one for me. You know, um, Jeremy, with the Adam Johnson situation the other day, um, you know, kind of just, you know, what goes through a player's mind? You know, the the connections in hockey are, are – are, there's so many between players who played with someone or against him or, you know, just sort of what's the mood go through the team? Yeah, obviously a uh, super sad uh, thing that happened there. Yeah. Um, 
you know, whenever you see something like that happen, it, it's pretty tough. Um, obviously, Adam played in the American League in the NHL the past, I don't know, six to eight years. So, you know, he's one of us and it hits close to home for sure. And it's just really tough situation. Thank you. Uh, you talked a lot about shots here, and you are leading the team in shots. So that's by design, something you've been working on to do? Yeah, I mean, shots are important, um, especially for a defenseman. Like, more you can get pucks on net, um, around shot blockers, off pads, shooting for sticks, shooting to beat the goalie, whatever it is, just – you know, you gotta, the puck's got to get to the net for it to go in. So the more you can throw pucks around that area, the better things will happen. You're playing so well right now at both ends of the rink. Uh, uh, do you feel like this might be the best you've ever played in your career? Yeah, for sure. Honestly, like, I just feel good. Like, usually the start start of seasons for me historically hasn't gone – the best but just talking about like I think I've played like 250 pro games or something like that including playoffs and NHL and stuff so I feel like for a lot of players uh, like that's kind of the milestone where you kind of feel like you've taken a step forward and you're like much more comfortable and I feel like I've kind of hit that point where the past like 200 games 250 just kind of been learning and obviously I'm still learning, but um, kind of hitting my stride now where I can feel the game out there a little better and just the skating feels good. And obviously the team's doing really well. So that helps. Love watching you. So keep it up. All right. Thank you. Thanks.